The end of me. The end of separation. It feels like, it seems as if there's no inside or outside. So when there was a very defined me in here, in this body, I am this body, there was a very clear subject and object. And I was separate from everything else. And there was a very definitive distinction. And without the sense of me, then there's, there's literally no boundary and there's no difference in a, in one way there's no difference between all the external things, all the objects and this body, thoughts, emotions, like they're all just appearances and that's all it is. It's just what's happening. And so when like the thoughts and emotions and feelings and pain and when none of that is occurring to anyone, then it's just appearing. And it's complete freedom. It's, it doesn't matter what's appearing. It's just not appearing for anyone. So everything's just freely what is. And so it seems like uh, an evenness or an equality to literally everything. There is no distinction, this is better than that, that is more important than this, I'm more important than them, I'm right, they're wrong. There's no distinction at all. And that's not to say that comparison doesn't happen, judgment doesn't happen. All of that can appear. It's just that when there isn't a sense of a me here, nothing is taken personally, nothing is really real, everything's just appearing, concepts can arise, beliefs can arise, no one is owning them, no one is claiming them, so none of it seems real. None of it has any meaning. None of it really has any purpose. It's interesting when I was a seeker when there was a sense of me and I was seeking for happiness, uh, more purpose, a better this, more money, whatever it was, more, more spirituality, being a better seeker, being more compassionate, more genuine, more authentic, more devoted, whatever it was, there would be moments where the seeker was satisfied because it got what it wanted and the seeking stopped for however long it was. It wasn't that long, but it stopped. So let's say I got a new job. The, there was relief and like the seeking dropped and there wasn't this me sense. Maybe there was, but it wasn't strong. So there was this like, ah. Oh. And same with when the me fell in love. It didn't seek a partner or 
whatever it was trying to get from the partner, like a sense of feeling enough or feeling worthy or feeling like I finally have someone who loves me, whatever it might have been, the seeking just stopped for a while. So there were these glimpses of wholeness, like things were complete. There was nothing missing. And that's like the feeling of being in love. And it's a beautiful feeling. You feel like in union. There is no separation or nothing. Nothing's lacking. Um, same with when you take drugs or when you get that promotion or you get more money. Like there's this um, satisfaction that comes that satisfies seeking. And so when that seeking drops, that's what we call glimpses sometimes. Like, or we just say, that's when I was really happy or that's when I felt really fulfilled. And, oh, I wish I could just go back to that. Um, and now it's so clear here that that was, the me was the altered state. It was the altered state. And so when the seeking dropped, it was as if the altered state kind of diffused and then there was just this. There was just wholeness, just perfection. And it's so opposite because when there's a very real felt sense of me, then it owns and claims that dropping of the seeking, that, that fulfillment that was felt. It owns it and claims it and wants it back and makes meaning out of it and uh, wants to figure it out and makes it an object. And it can actually strengthen the sense of me and strengthen that feeling of lack, feeling something's missing, feeling of that was better than this. Um, this very stark contrast is seen and the seeking can intensify sometimes. And at least that's how I became a very devoted spiritual seeker. I wanted to know what that was. I wanted the glimpse to be a permanent state. For the me. The me wanted to experience the absence of itself, which is impossible. And it can, it's devastating at the end when you realize I'm not going to be there to, to own this fulfillment or this like wholeness, this completion, this perfection. I'm not going to be here to relish in that. Nope. But the irony is, there was never a real me. It was, it's a very real felt sense of a me, but it's just, it's an illusion. It's, it's not really real. It could co collapse quite easily sometimes that those are the glimpses the thing the me wants more than anything whether it knows it or not it doesn't really know it it doesn't know it how can it know what it's like without itself 
Like, of course, it it feels as if it had a taste when it had that glimpse, but the me wasn't there. And then it's just after the fact where it interprets it and tries to make sense of it and tries to get it again. The me doesn't really know. And the me won't be here to own this this like unknown, unexplainable, undefinable I don't know what to call it. I guess you can say it's a liberation. It's liberation for no one. So no one is freed. No one wakes up. It's it's just the realization by no one that there was never really a me to begin with. 